hello collective welcome back to the ascended divination priestess channel you are greatly appreciated i am sending you all lots of love joy peace and happiness many many blessings to you and your families as always i return to source i return to sender all negative energies and intent immediately and permanently I call in only the purest of white light and pray that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energies. Whatever the enemy has stolen from you, it is returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled and being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, so shall it be. Judgment is final. Okay, let's go ahead and get into our tarot read. Uh, so we have someone that's not having wish fulfillment here. I think someone thought or maybe a group of people thought that something was going to go their way. Um, there could be something where you were supposed to have some type of financial payout or some type of offer being given to you. You were supposed to receive something of abundance, maybe like a material wealth or something. Someone may have done something in the background to make sure that you don't receive that. And now something has backfired horribly on these people or this person. This could be an institution, whatever this is. Uh, but someone was determined to have their way in something. So now that they are not having something or something is not being given to them. And I don't know what this is. This could be a love offer. This could be uh, some type of financial payout. This could be a position. This could be some type of abundance or something that belongs to you that someone else wanted to have because I see the four of pentacles out here. Someone may be trying to hold on to something that does not belong to them because they know they cannot have it because they're trying to force something to go their way. This could be a group of people. It could have to do with some type of love offer. It's almost as though someone is trying to uh, force uh, an another energy, man or woman, to be with them. And I don't know how that works. Usually the mature thing to do is if somebody wants to move on with their life, you let them move on because people know what's best for them. Um, there could be some type of financial ab obligation or some type of financial uh, like that someone is going through. That's why it is they don't want to let go of another energy. I don't know what this is, but let's go ahead and get into it. I mean, these, these people, they, I don't know what this is. It could be a group of people that's been doing something behind the scenes, or it could be a feminine energy that's trying to hold on to some type of relationship that she knows is over. Uh, but because she benefits from the relationship or she benefits from the position, something like that, she's trying to hold on to keep it going. This could be with a king of pentacles and he's showing up in the reverse. And I'm not... I'm not more so getting a negative feeling from this King of Pentacles, even though he's showing up in the reverse. What I'm thinking is that these two were married and he's leaving. So she may be trying to hold on to him and keep him stuck in a situation. This is what I'm picking up on. But when he came out, I didn't get like a negative feeling, but you never know. We could be surprised. Um, also, I'm hearing that this King of Pentacles could be going through some type of uh, karma. Yeah, he's going through some type of karma. Because there's something where it's like he didn't listen to his intuition. Something was fed to him, either by his ancestors or someone around him. Like he sought advice or someone gave him some type of advice he didn't take heed to. So now he's under some type of judgment. He may have missed his opportunity to fix something. Or this could, you know, I could be wrong. This could be an actual king of pentacles that's in the reverse. That's under some type of bad judgment going through really horrible karma because of something he did. May have been out here doing a lot of rituals telling a lot of lies manipulating and things like that behind the scenes and something has backfired horribly on him he may be feeling way down behind the scenes may have been working or collaborating with a queen king of wands behind the scenes and now the both of them are living in some type of anxiety and fear trying to kind of wait to see how something is going to play out i'm telling you they're trying to figure out how something is going to play out how it's going to be balanced out um should they communicate something to you should they say something do something something will be balanced out whatever the situation is i think it has to do with people wanting to hold on to what belongs to you and this is a group effort this is not just one person this could also 
have to do with people trying to keep a masculine in a situation that they know is not healthy. It could be a relationship or an enterprise, an institution, trying to hold someone in that situation so that they don't move on with their life and something is backfiring horribly. People could be going through karma. People are having a lot of anxieties behind the scenes because, yes, there is some type of karma playing out. A king of wands could be going through karma because of some type of reckless action he may have taken. And the universe or your angels interceded on your behalf. Yeah, he's going through some type of loss. Someone is going through a whole lot. He don't went from the nine of cups in the reverse to the five of cups. Uh, something is not what... Is something is not playing out like these people thought. Someone is not having wish fulfillment. They're having to cut their losses and move on. Someone may be embarrassed. There's something that's not going their way. Someone is really frustrated out here. Even though they're going through all of these losses, they're still trying to force something to go their way. Uh, they may still be doing some malicious things behind the scenes. So have control of something because someone may be a bit of a narcissist or someone just does not know when to let go. Okay. Um, I don't know what it is that's going on with you all in these karmics in the background of you. Um, but honey, they, they've been up to it, up to it. Okay. But something will be balanced out and this is going to be karma. Um, and this is going to be wish fulfillment for someone in the collective. There's a queen of wands. Maybe they're going Melissa. Melissa is back out here again. And Melissa is disappointed, feeling way down and burdened, wishing that she could cause more illusions to interfere with someone's choices. This could be a masculine, possibly someone in the upright. This could be like a higher level soulmate that may be having some type of contract with someone. So you and someone may be coming together very soon. But Melissa is stuck in some type of situation now that she cannot get out of. Now, you know, if you know what I'm going to call her Karen. Now, you know, we've been telling Karen for a long time to stop doing something, to stop taking from people, stealing from people, pre stop pretending to be something that she is not. But Karen has been very stern that she can make people believe that she's in the upright. Karen is stuck in some type of situation she cannot get out of. A lot of losses in finances, maybe because Karen was paying people behind the scenes to force something to go in her way. So, so if even Karen has something that did not belong to her, she wanted to further some type of narrative that she was more so to fit one for a situation and you did not fit for something, whether it's a position, whether it's an abundance and inheritance, whether it's something you created yourself. Maybe Karen was even out here telling people that she helped you create something and you don't even know Karen or maybe never even interacted with Karen on that level. So Karen don't got nothing to do with what it is that you have going on. Karen could even be out here pretending like you and her are working together. Let's, let's say you have a social media platform. Karen may be out here sharing your, your videos, but then telling people, see, you, I told you we work together. She creates the content. He creates the content and I share it. No, Karen and somebody does not have a contract. They don't have any agreement. Whoever's creating the contract, whoever's doing the work, whatever it is, the business is, they don't know Karen, never interacted with Karen when it comes to them working professionally and making some type of whether verbal agreement, uh, uh, um, written agreement, nothing. It, it has not been put into place because someone does not interact with Karen regularly and someone wouldn't be that dumb. I'm telling you, it didn't happen. Maybe Karen's been out here telling lies and saying that she and someone are business partners. They're not business partners. Okay. Karen is karmic. She's toxic. This could have to do with a relationship. There's a lot of lies she's been telling, but the truth is out. And this is causing some type of hindrance, um, when it comes to Karen, because she's been lying about a, an empress energy. There could be another empress energy behind the scenes. Now, I don't know if this is Karen's mother or this is someone's wife. I don't know who this is, but they're going through some type of ending, living in a lot of fear and anxiety. And it's not just these two. It's a lot of people behind the scenes because they're they're realizing that they participated in something that was no, never going to have any type of good return on investment. Uh, people are not happy with how something turned out because of the fact that they invested so much in uh, causing illusions, playing too many games and things like that, trying to have someone be juggled so they don't receive their ears of pentacles or something of that nature. And all of these people are going through a tower. Someone may have taken some type of reckless action to cause a tower in your energy, in your abundance, your financial payout. If you were supposed to receive something from the courts with that higher fin card out here, they temper with something so that it will not be balanced out because people fail to be practical about a situation. 
So Karen may be wanting to come in and give you some type of false offer. You're not interested because you're someone very genuine. Uh, they've been trying to do a lot of things to interfere with you and someone meeting. But again, this meeting, if it's meant to happen, it'll happen, happen in divine timing. There's nothing people can really do to interfere with it. It may just not be time yet for you and this person to meet. But when it's the time for you all to meet, the universe will make sure that that is taken care of. There could be a higher fan out here. This could be an institution or a person that is going through some type of rude awakening. I picked up on a religious leader a while back that has some type of addiction he's dealing with. Someone could be going through some type of fall from grace. It's like maybe he tried to get you caught up in some type of legal issues, especially when it comes to your kids or something like that. But he's going through some type of fall behind the scenes as well, maybe trying to hide it. That karma is playing out. There is something where it's like the universe is the one serving the karma. There could be a, a institution falling from grace as well. Like I've picked up on a business or like an enterprise that's coming to an end. And maybe the people within that institution don't know that it's coming to an end. Uh, so something is absolutely done. While they've been focused on you trying to cause you endings, the whole institution is falling from grace, losing money, uh, being humble. And then you have a higher fan that is falling from grace as well. And this is something they've been trying to hide. You're going to be having yourself a new beginning while these people are fighting amongst themselves. You're going to be having wish fulfillment. Some of you may end up being in the public eye. Some of you are about to be married or partnering up with the people you're supposed to partner up with so that you can get on your journey. I'm telling you, so you can get on your journey and go through your ascension and help other people ascend. You and someone will meet in divine timing. They may have some questions they want to ask you to see how much you know about something because there's some type of tower going on behind the scenes and it's playing out in a way that people did not expect is that people can really people cannot even pretend anymore that something is not going on you know how sometimes in life when we all go through this something horrible will be going on and you know you you have to walk out and pretend like nothing is going on but really on the inside you want to scream your guts out and things like that but you hold it within and put on a smile put on a brave face and go on about your day something is not able to play out that way there's a group there's a feminine energy, there's a higher fan, there's a group of people behind the scenes that are not able to fake the funk anymore. Something is a little bit too intense for them to pretend. There could be a relationship that's coming to an end. Uh, this is something I think I've been picking up on for a long time. Two people may be going through like a divorce proceeding or some type of breakup. It's a lot of, uh, like, I don't know what this is. It's a lot going on in this divorce proceeding or whatever this is, this breakup. And this is because I don't know if this is like this woman's family or her friends that have been trying, that have been trying to keep someone stuck in a karmic relationship with a woman. She he don't want to be a part of it anymore. Like they've been trying to do something where it's like they keep him trapped or they keep like, I don't know what this is. Like, there's a woman, I don't know if she accuses her husband of cheating a lot or something. I don't think he does. I'm not getting the vibe that he does. Maybe he does. I don't know. But there's something where it's like they accuse him of cheating a lot, but he doesn't. And th th this is leading to some type of divorce because one, there's a, 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 a an empress energy that's just unstable. Like someone is going through a tower she may have been trying to force some type of relationship to stick, like keep someone trapped in some type of divorce proceedings to prolong it for as long as possible. But there's some type of tower this woman is going through and she's not able to keep postponing or keep prolonging this divorce proceedings i don't know what i don't know what the heck this is like if a divorce is going on why would you want to prolong it don't you like want to because when you guys get to the point where you're actually going through a divorce proceeding i will assume that's the time when you like don't want anything to do with each other why would you want to prolong it it could be the fact that she's still holding on to this relationship maybe she's looking back back at her life and saying like i'm too old to start over honey <laughs> where a lot of us are too old to start over, but we don't have a choice. We got to keep moving forward. So you got to do the same thing. Like you got to keep sister. You got to push for like, you got to move forward. Okay. You got to move forward and invest in things that matter to you. Think about your future. 
come up with, with plans on how you can stay productive and build a life of your own. But trying to keep someone stuck in a divorce proceeding is not going to fix anything. It's just going to make the situation even worse than what it is because I think someone knows what it is you're doing to prolong something that you're trying to interfere with either your ex-spouse or your soon-to-be ex-spouse from having some type of new beginning you're trying to block them from block him from meeting with someone this could be the people sending you know like if they know where the man stays or if they know where the feminine energy stays they're sending people to their homes to make sure that they're not leaving or if they're leaving they're following them to make sure that they're not going towards the masculine or they're not going towards the feminine energy honey that's too much to be doing you go you you, you got to like go you're having a hard time letting go, and this is why you're putting in all of this effort. You may be paying people behind the scenes to make sure that two people do not meet. There's nothing you can do to stop these two from meeting. If the universe decides that they are going to meet, they are going to meet. And from what I'm seeing, these two are going to meet. It's just not time yet. Okay, it's not time yet. Uh, so someone may have wanted to send some type of communication like the masculine wanted to send some type of communication before but he decided not to and i think he's waiting for something to be balanced out when it comes to a queen of wands and things like this is too much going on with these people just too much going on okay I don't know if someone is not happy being a bachelor anymore. Someone is not happy being single. This could be the the empress. Or, I don't know. I, honey, I, I, these people are getting on my nerves. But we got to do the work. We got to do the job. Okay? Someone over in Dodge. You're all over in Dodge. And what they're over in Dodge in is when it came to having someone being rejected, keeping someone isolated, keep a, a lying about someone's mental state. Lying about someone's emotional state. Lie, lying about someone's intellect, intellect, okay? Like you all went to some type of extent to make sure that someone was rejected. Someone was seen in a light that was not fitting. You're realizing that you overindulged in something. And now this is why you're trapped in some type of situation you cannot get out of. And you're out here, queen of wands, trying to pay people to ensure some type of victory for you. It's not going to work. I don't know what kind of superficial offer you're trying to have someone come in to another energy with or you are trying to come in to another energy with because you think that's going to balance things out. It's not going to work, honey. It's not. It's not. It's too late. It's too late for something. You, you, you got to take a different path because this queen of cups or whoever you've been coming after, honey, someone, someone don't got time for you or your mess. Okay, I'm telling you, they don't got time for you or your mess. This higher fin here. This is this could be an institution or the head of an institution that's going through some type of ending and this is karma. Someone could have been like slandering you, destroying you. Think of like someone going out of their way to destroy your pathway, destroy your resources, your income, your image, everything. Someone was very committed and this could be a whole institution. The higher fin has to do with institutions. The tower can have to do with institutions. So this is absolutely an institution is going through an ending, but there's a leader of an institution as well that's either going through some type of ending or has made some type of judgment, and it is leading to some type of ending for the members of this community. Someone's work may be coming to an end, or someone may be committed to causing someone an ending, and this is why, yeah, this Queen of, Queen of Wands is committed to ending someone's pathway, someone's abundance someone's resources so she's paying someone behind the scenes to carry her dirty deeds out she's trying to end a queen of swords impress energy because she's intimidated by this woman someone is actually telling the truth about a situation and is bothering this woman so you could be telling a lot of truth and she don't want the truth coming out but it's like every time she comes out in the story it's consistent She's paying people behind the scenes to temper with someone's words, someone's work, someone's image, someone's intellect. Like she's been doing this for a long time. This woman has gotten accustomed to stealing from people, blocking people, causing endings to people, tempering with people's work. But the universe is out here balancing things out. And whoever you are trying to end, guess what? They're about to be in the public eye and being seen as someone very respectable. And you ain't getting away with nothing you've been doing. You are headed right. I'm telling you, 
You are not he- uh, in. Oh, you are not getting away with anything that you've been doing behind the scenes. You are headed right to poverty with the group of friends that was helping you and trying to stay strong in blocking two people from coming together or blocking someone's abundance. A whole group of friends and family. Yeah, you'll have a hard knock life coming ahead of you. Okay, there could be an emperor reverse that's been behind the scenes as well. Um, doing too much. You have another emperor, I believe, that's choosing to be practical about a situation. May want to communicate with you, collective, to let you know about some type of decision that has been made. I don't even think you are bothered by these people. You may not even be worried about them. I think you're more so out here focused on your your path, getting to your destination, staying focused and grounded and things like that. Yeah, trying to put an end to this chapter, but these people are absolutely a little bit too focused on you or have been a little bit too focused on you. And maybe you didn't know the whole time that you had a whole group of people out here trying to end you, cause your heartbreak, more than likely doing some type of dark magic behind the scenes, sending you death spells heart spells, trying to mess with your health and things like that. Like they want you to fall ill and just, you know, pass away or something. One day you go to sleep, the next day you don't wake up and then they can take charge or take a hold of something that belongs to you and act like they are the ones that came up with it. Things like that, they never go the way you think they're going to go because the universe is always behind the scenes, monitoring everything. So you can go and take something from someone and then pretend like it's yours and you're never going to benefit off of it because it's not yours. It's not part of your calling. It's, and that's the guy's honest truth. It's not part of your calling. It has nothing to do with you. It does not resonate with you on a spiritual level. So you're not going to be able to manifest that into the physical because it has, again, nothing to do with you. This could be part of the reason why a, you know, a institution is coming to an end. A higher fin is falling from grace because they've been doing something behind the scenes that they've been hiding. There could be a religious leader that's very financially motivated, very greedy. Someone over in dodges, especially when it comes to having the finer things in life. And all of this is being exposed. Someone is being seen as not exactly in the upright. This is not someone of high honor. This is not someone that's called by the ancestors or have any type of spiritual gifts. I picked up on this man a while back. I said that there was a spiritual leader that did not have any spiritual gifts. Someone is just ordained by his peers in the physical. There are there's a difference between different uh two types of leaders. I don't know how I just put that, but you have the leaders, the 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 spiritual leaders that are ordained by their peers, and oftentimes they're not they're they are not ordained by the Most High, so they don't really have any type of spiritual clearance in the spirit realm. Um, so the judgment that they make is not as influential on a spiritual level as it is on a physical, on the physical plane. And then you have the second leader, which should, which would be like the star seeds, the temperance energies, higher fin in a mixture of all of those different high vibrational energies that, that are actually ordained by the most high. So they have clearance and they have authority in the spirit. So that means they also have authority on the physical. So whatever judgment that they make in the spirit, it is manifested in the physical. Okay. So, and it also depends on the judgment. It could be a judgment that goes in the negative for you. Uh, you end up in poverty or it could be a judgment that ends up being positive for you and you end up, you know, having abundance, abundance and things like that. But there's a difference between the two, the two. You can be ordained by your peers, not by the most high, or you can be ordained by the most high, not by your peers. But at the end of the, the day, because the most high has ordained you, that's all you need. Okay. So there is a spiritual leader that is out here that is financially motivated, very greedy, self-absorbed, uh, egotistical, like someone there, the, the fact that he's even showing up as an, as a king of pentacles in the reverse is letting me know that his intuition is not where it's supposed to be. This is not someone that listens to their intuition. They may not even be in tune with their intuition. And then we have the judgment card in the reverse, meaning this person does not have any type of authority spiritually to make any judgment because this is someone that is financially motivated. This is someone that is, I don't even know how to put this. 
Like someone, someone does not care about spirituality. The reason why they are in this field or in that position is completely different from the reason why you will end up in that position. Okay. This could be why this institution is coming to an end because someone does not really care about what it is that they are doing. Um, and they don't realize that that plays a huge role in it having aspirations for what it is you're doing, caring about what it is you're doing. It plays a role in the success or the abundance that you can acquire from that. Okay. All right. So you, this person may be falling from grace, losing some type of position, and then it's going to be given to you in due time. But there is some type of scenario that has to play out right now. You have a queen of wands that's still set on bribing people behind the scenes to tamper with your work and things like that to put an end. She may be paying someone to on a life, a queen of swords that she's intimidated by, that she's angry at. She feels insulted because all the truths about her are coming out. This is someone absolutely reckless. This is someone emotionally imbalanced. She may be out here telling people that, oh, that's a lie. I don't sleep around. I don't bribe people behind the scenes. I don't do this. I don't do that. I'm not a negligent parent. I blah, 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 blah. Girl, you a lie. Everything out here is telling us that you are exactly that. You got the nine of cups in the reverse around you. The four of pentacles, the knight of the knight of cups, the freaking six of wands, which is letting me know that you are someone that's egotistical. You just think you're better than other people be, with this knight of cups coming out under that. This is letting me know that you are a gaslighter and there's an ulterior motive for why you do everything that you do. There's nothing genuine with you. So this friendship up uh, friendship offer that you are coming in with to an empress energy, it ain't going nowhere because they already see you. This is why there's a tower happening before you even get to this woman. You are trying to come in and cause a tower. You see how that happened? If this is not what you were trying to do, this would have been right next to this empress. It wouldn't be here. So your intentions for coming towards an empress energy is to cause a tower to them. You're disingenuous. I don't know. Like there's something is wrong with your mental, whoever you are, Karen, something is wrong with your mental. Like your mental is not when it's shaky, shaky, like it's past that. Like something is wrong with your mental. Something is, there we go right there. I don't know why I'm acting like I don't see the eight of swords down here. The eight of swords is right next to her too, right at the bottom. Like we got, got the five of cups in the, re not in the reverse. We have the five of cups next to her. The freaking eight of swords. Girl, I, I can't. Like, whatever it is you're trying to hide, people know. And they're going to know the truth as well. Well, you, I don't know if this is you and your partner that have been working together to end other people, block other people, steal from other people, because you two don't really care about what it is you do behind the scenes. You just care about the money. You can pay people all you want to keep blocking someone's or uh, to come in on a live someone honey it's about to backfire horribly like you're about to end up in jail like in the penitentiary for a long time and i don't know who you think is going to come in and save you he ain't coming in to save you i'm being told to tell you i don't know if you think an emperor <clears throat> if you didn't know now you know i don't know if you thought like an emperor was going to come in and save you like a king of swords or something was going to come in and use his security clearance and so they can let you walk away that's not how it's gonna go so you better know that this emperor is aware of everything you've been doing there could be a pi or someone like that in the court system they're not coming to rescue you i don't know if you think the leader of a of an institution is going to come and use their physical their 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 power on this plane to free you from girl nobody's coming to rescue you you're lying to yourself you're lying to yourself. You're out here determined to destroy someone that has done nothing to you. Simply because what people are telling the truth about you, girl, you're planning, planning. Oh, you're planning. You say, if, if I, let me just find someone. I'm just going to find someone and I'm going to hire them. And they're going to go in and take that queen of swords out. And, guess, and then what happens, ma'am? What's going to happen? What do you think is going to happen after that? That people are just going to go on with their life and say, well, the queen of the queen of swords is there now. So it is what it is. No, darling. No, 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 no. You're about to fall ill and get so skinny. I saw some, I saw a woman in a flash. 
when I said you're, you got so sick and skinny, like you were skin and bones. So whatever you are plotting, you may want to hold off, back off. There's something about your mental. You think you can lie your way out of everything. You think rituals can get you everything, baby. This scenario here, it ain't doing nothing for you. It's not gaining you nothing. You're not, you're not getting wish fulfillment. You see how the, 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 you see how the read started, right? You ain't getting wish fulfillment. You are not getting wish fulfillment. Okay. You are not getting wish fulfillment. You're playing, paying for more work. You're paying for more work. You are out here trying to figure out how you can defeat someone's strength. How can we make sure they don't have wish fulfillment? How can we make sure they're not feeling like going on? Deter their strength. Weaken them. This is, do you all know how pathetic you sound? That a group of people will come together to weaken someone. To weaken someone. And you don't even know that there are people around you that are fed up with your nonsense. So they may end up taking action to balance something out because they're just done. And you're out here throwing temper tantrums trying to invoke your authority that you don't have. Girl, you better sit down. You're out here telling more lies. More lies. You're trying to defeat a queen of cups. Trying to trap a queen of cups. That queen of cups, the girl, she ain't worried about you. <laughs> that queen of cups is not worried about you. It's another queen of cups in here that's trapped in her baby. She got to take a new path. She is trapped in her mind, confused all over the place, angry, bother. The whole camp, like your energies are just all over the place. The whole camp is done, stuck, trapped. And while you're trapped, feeling burdened and weighed down due to the actions that you all took, it's why you're in the predicament. Like you all committed yourself to disturbing someone's life. You didn't care how it affected them, what situations they were in, whether they had families, kids, or any. You didn't care. All you cared about was that you were going to secure yourself. All that mattered was you were seen as victorious. Things were going to go your way. You were going to prove that you were the better option. So you didn't care how your, uh, your actions affected a family. You didn't care how your actions affected, an, affected another human being because you don't even see people as people. You just see them as collateral. You don't care. You don't care at, about people at all. At all. Mm -mm -mm. People have, baby honey, people have foresights of all the illusions. And whoever you think is coming in to rescue you, they are not coming in to rescue you. At all. You keep trying to temper with someone's mental, trying to take their creativity from them. They're not, they shouldn't be able to uh, be innovative, have downloads, dream. Or, girl, who the heck do you think you are? This magic must have worked on other people in the past, and this is why you think it works on everybody and anybody. You ain't take nothing from no one, and no one is taking a different path than the one the Most High decided was for them. Things are being balanced out for the woman that you've been coming after. I don't know what else to tell you. They're about to be out here having options, opportunities, living their good life. And guess what? You are going to have to... Didn't I tell you you were going to have to work for what it is you want in life moving forward? And this is what's showing in my spread. You are not having wish fulfillment. You are at a stalemate. You're going to have to work for everything it is that you want in life from now on. Okay? Conflict and all. You're going to have to work just like everybody else had to work. There's someone around you that you don't understand had to work really hard to get to where they are. And you take that for granted because more than likely something was handed to you. Something was handed to you. You were connected to this person or you, or you slept with this person. So you received some type of opportunity. You put yourself out there to be gifted, uh, intellectual, business savvy, and you pass the check boxes on paper 
And then what? In real life, it's a God's darn. So it's an institution that's been stuck with you possibly for years. And you have not been able to provide what it is that you promised. And therefore, someone else is a woman in here. This has to do with a relationship trying to trap a girl. I don't got time for them. I don't got time for them. We're going to stick to the institution one because I don't got time for these people in their relationships. Okay? I don't got time. That's their business. And I'm telling you, source said them. True that. <laughs> True that. <laughs> Those people need to figure that out. I'm telling you, whoever you're coming after having wish fulfillment, Whatever, it's like you destroy something for someone and then they manifest something new. You destroy it, it manifests something even better. And you don't realize this is how it's meant to be for this person. Like you're not going to take someone's gift, spiritual gifts. It's not going to be given to you. You're under some type of illusion. And if you even get a smidge of it as temporary, it's going to be taken right back from you and given back to them. It's not yours. This is why you keep going through these towers and disappointments. You may even be being rejected by people. People don't want to work with you because they know the truth now. They don't want to work with you. Isn't that right, Karen? They don't want to work with you. I'm telling you, you see this? Listen, this whoever you've been coming after, this is their future. Abundance. Ten of Pentacles. You're out here trying to cause an ending. There could be a, uh, I don't know who this higher fin is, but there is some type of decision this man has made that's putting a family to the end. Like a whole family is the end of the road for them. They're going through karma. So it could be that there's a, a, a higher fin. Baby, I don't know. With that king of pentacles reversed next to that higher fin, there's something about that higher fin. But regardless, he has made some type of decision because... In this situation, he is basically God in this situation. So he has made some type of decision that's putting an end to this family. Okay. So this is them going through karma. You reaping, like they're, they're reaping what they sow. You reap what you sow in life. This is what this is. So this whole family, and, I, and I've been saying this repeatedly, something was not going to go in the favor of a family. They should have cut their losses and moved on a long time ago. But there's something egotistical about a queen of wands that just wants to keep going. And she does not realize that she has ensured her own ending. Okay, she's still trying to work hard to stabilize something, hold on to something. You're not getting wish fulfillment. It's not being given to you. Whatever you're trying to keep a hold of is being taken from you and given to the rightful person. Like the truth about you is exposed. You are not having wish fulfillment. I know you want to be seen as someone that's hardworking so you can have this ten of pentacles. That ain't how it's going, darling. You're going to have to actually... You're going to have to pay your karma. You, you, don't, you, you don't did too much out here, darling. Too much. And now you want to come out here and say, oh, you know, I just wanted to reach out and tell you that I really admire your work. Uh, I, I, blah, blah, blah. Girl, nobody cares about all of that. When you're talking to someone, they're not even going to be paying you attention. If they pay you any any attention, it's going to be with that sore pool out. It's like, okay, oh, excuse me. Chuck those deuces up. Get out of my face. Like some of you, you think you get out here and do things and nobody knows. People be knowing what it is you're doing. The whole friend group, everybody you've been working with against a queen of pentacles, everybody is about to be going through something. Okay. I don't know how else we were supposed to tell you all. I'm telling you, someone is healing, recovering. This is what you didn't want. You got some type of vendetta against a queen of swords, empress energy. And you don't realize this woman didn't do nothing to you. There's something where, where you do that like you're someone that goes to practitioners a lot. And you watch terror readers a lot. Everything you watch, you say is about you. So you've been out here trying to destroy people's pathways. You don't want anyone else to be seen as gifted because you're not gifted. You're triggered. You are heavily triggered. This is why you, you, you don't see a problem with you leaving your community to go and investigate someone else's life illegally 
try to paint yourself out as something that you are not because you're not showing up as abundant. You're just showing up as a little girl that's very insecure and refusing to do what it is you need to do to heal and balance your life out. You're not going to have someone else's destiny. That's not how it works. You got to put in the work. Okay, you got to put in the work. So right now you're not getting wish fulfillment. Maybe sometime down the line when you heal, put in all the work that you need to and actually commit to yourself in your path. Commit to yourself in your path. Then you can have that freaking ten of pentacles. But until then, you ain't having it. And you're not blocking someone else's pathway. This is the end of the road for you. That you're stuck, stuck in something you manifested for yourself. Listen, you manifested for yourself. I don't know what to tell you. Take a different path. I think that's what I told you a while back. You need to take a different path. Take a different path. You're, you are still out here trying to drag something out. But someone is going to be balancing it out. This is redundant at this point. It is redundant. It is redundant. But these karmics are, are on it out here, aren't they? Yeah, I'm telling you. Someone is getting what is theirs. I don't know if you were the one painting yourself out to be a woman of high honor. That's not passing. You're still out here trying to defeat the actual person of high honor. That's not happening. Like the universe is on you. Honey, they're stuck on you like white on rice. Which reminds me, there's a man out here. I don't know if he's going through some type of conversion or transition someone used to be a racist person but there's some type of change they're going through lord have mercy we're glad you're going through that change but you're not yet invited to the cook house because we're not sure about you yet okay but we're glad you're going through this transition it's a masculine it's a caucasian man that used to be racist but he's going through some type of change behind the scenes but sir you're not invited to the cook out yet until like i don't know i don't know what to tell you We'll see. We'll see. I'll pick up on your energy, I'm sure, sometime down the line when, when you've gotten farther, far along enough for us to consider you for the cookout. But I'm glad you're going through that change because that's 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 very that's being very small minded and limiting yourself to in the world. The world is such a beautiful place with endless possibilities and opportunities and such beauty for you to be limiting yourself to just. A select group of people because they look like you. That is such a disadvantage to yourself. But we're glad you're doing. You, you're taking the initiative to change your mindset. But you weren't invited to the cookout yet. And when we do invite you to the cookout, you cannot bring nothing because you may be. You may bring. You know that raisin potato salads that we don't eat, eat at, at, our, at our cook <laughs> at our cookout. Oh, sir. It's layers. It's steps. <laughs> you you got to go through the steps. <laughs> when I picked up on that, I said, oh, I be darned. <laughs> what? It's a whole diplomat out here with this kind of mindset? Gosh dang. If you all feel that way out here, it, it's, what can you expect from us common folks? Because the leaders of our nations are thinking like this out here. What the heck are we uh, simple folks supposed to be behaving like or thinking like but i'm glad you're changing your mindset though sir you say you know what chocolate folks ain't so bad he went from seeing negro to chocolate folks <laughs> we went from reject to appetizer to dessert he said you know what those chocolate folks they ain't so bad all of them are not the same yeah all of you are not the same either sir you see how that goes <laughs> yeah. Woo. we all have our burdens we worried about right now my my burden it's not really a burden it's more so of a, like a theatrical experience my karmics whoever they are now you all know i got four dollars in my bank account and they're out here in uh, access in my bank account, ordering stuff. I'm like, you know, I got four dollars in my bank account. Why are you trying to order stuff? You know, I cannot afford to be ordering. Like, you know, they just want me out here with no edges, nothing. I, I, it may get to a point where, like, I have to go and you know, 
put on a, 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 a job campaign or something for a sugar daddy that don't need no sugar, but he got a lot of sh sugar to give me, if you know what I mean, no touching. You know, one of those ones where you just pop in every Tuesday and say, hi, Bill, how are you doing? I just need to check on you because you're my guy. You got my money. <laughs> one of those. <laughs> the only thing about that is sometimes Bill may surprise you and say, when are you going to do that thing? And you're like, uh, what are you talking about, Bill? Bill, I am appalled that you think, Bill, this was not part of the agreement. You know very well that was not part of the agreement. Now, where's my money, Bill? <laughs> I'm telling you, these people on my backs, I don't know who this is, but they want me out here with no edges, no munting. Can you at least leave my $4 in my bank account so I can get some deodorant so I can smell like I matter or something? Dang! <laughs> Those people said, order. <laughs> order. I said, I didn't order that. Now I got to call the credit card company or the debit card company to cancel the car. I sent a new one. Got to call this company and tell them, hey... Yeah, we didn't make that order. Please refund me my money back. I only got four dollars and I need every bit of it. <laughs> yeah. I've had to order, I think, like two or three new. I've had to replace my cards, I think, two or three times within the past month or so. That's how important it is out here. That's how important <laughs> it is to block me out here. <laughs> I saw that. I saw. I got that alert. I said, "God dang, they took my four dollars. I need my four dollars back." <laughs> I need that. I gotta get some deodorant. I gotta smell like I matter out here. Okay. <laughs> it was so funny. I was on, and then when I tried to call, they kept because they don't invade my. They, they invaded my whole life. When I called, they cut the calls off. They said, nope, don't call. She can't call. We don't want her getting that $4 back. I I had to call. I had to try and call, like, I think five or ten times. I said, wow, these people are committed. But I'm just as committed. Oh, I'm just as committed. By the time this is over, I'm, I'm sure I'm going to probably need a sugar daddy or two to help me get paid the rent or something. I'm like, low sugar daddy, no touching. But you know what? I'm a good communicator. We can talk. No touching. You give the sugar and I'm, and you know, you're the sugar daddy. I'm the arm candy. You give me the sugar, just this, just this, uh-huh, and I stay sweet, okay? You just can get you just don't need to know what flavor of sweets I am. That's all. <laughs> don't touch it. Can you imagine? <laughs> you got an agreement with Bill. <laughs> there ain't no nothing physical supposed to be going on. And Bill start feeling himself one day. You go to see Bill. <laughs> Bill don't talk his dangerous out. <laughs> He's laying in bed. Talking about today is the day you do that thing. I said, oh, no, Bill. No, 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 no. Bill, I don't do that, people. Because with those dangerous out, you're looking like an unwrapped mummy. No, 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 no. <laughs> uh, no. I know my ancestors are not going to let it get that far. But these people are on my tails, folks. Maybe this is how bad it is for you, too. This is why yours is coming out like this. <laughs> That's what you tell Bill. Bill, on page three of our verbal contract, it says you got me full job if you think I'm about to. <laughs> oh, Lord, I knew this nonsense goofiness was going to come out. It said, Bill, on page three of our contract, our verbal contract, it says that. In the event that you ask me to do anything physical with you, you got me fooled up. <laughs> it's a no, no. <laughs> Where's my money? <laughs> now, you wanted someone to talk to? I've talked to you. I've spoken to you. I came in. I said hello. I fed the cat, fed the dog. Helped you put your dentures back in because you're t uh, petrifying me with them out. I don't need, you, need to see you like that again. Don't do that again. So now, you're going to pay me? <laughs> All right, see you next Tuesday, Bill. We'll do this again. <laughs> <laughs>
Bill said, just this one. Bill, no touching. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, my gosh. Uh-uh. Ain't no way. Ancestors, y'all better not let it. Don't even let it get to that. Okay? <laughs> gosh, dirty. They working two, uh, two jobs. Oh, Lord. And they're still trying to tick me out? What? Anyways, collective, this higher fan is trying to make a decision. Let's get back to the re. You know, we have to have our little commercials in between for humor. <sighs> this higher fan is trying to make a decision. And I think he already made a decision. But I think after this, there's two paths he's going to have to take. It's either he's going to reach out to you, Queen of Cups, to extend some type of friendship because he's trying to manifest some type of. I don't know if it's a friendship or, or like an alliance is what is coming up. Like someone may want to partner up with you or someone may even be married and his wife. Like this is a couple that may be really burdened as well about you receiving some type of abundance. So I don't know if they've been doing things behind the scenes to make sure you don't receive your abundance, which would be part of the reason why he's showing up as a king of pentacles in the reverse, because this is someone that's financially motivated. This is a couple that's financially motivated. So this is this higher fan and his wife. Uh, and they're both going through a tower right now. I think they expected something to go in their favor, but it's not going in their favor. Um, so there's some type of, I don't know what this is, like some type of readjustment like they're gonna have to i'm hearing budget refinance something like that but there's some type of fall from grace some type of revelation coming out about a couple or some just bonnie and clyde duo maybe they're not married but i think i think this is a couple that's falling from grace something is being exposed about them they could have been very abundant in the past um, but all of this is coming to an end and it has probably possibly to do with how it is they acquire their wealth. They may have done something in the court system to hide something from someone. So if something was left to you, let's say like you were gifted an institution, you were gifted some type of position, like you are like the CEO or the head of uh, enterprise. People did something to hide the paperwork so that you would not receive what is yours. But all of this is coming to an end. This was a whole collaboration by a group of people to make sure that someone does not receive what it is that was left to them. This could also have to do with a relationship. You and someone partnering up together. And there's been a whole lot of uh, hocus pocus taking place behind the scenes to make sure that you and someone do not come together. Uh, because people are saying that. You come from a different background. There's something about bigotry. Maybe that's why I mentioned, oh, that's what it is. Someone in this institution, it's a few people in this institution that are bigots. That's what it is. Because I said, what in the world does this man being racist have to do with this read? That's what it is. There's something about your background. So you could be someone of color, black, Mexican, Asian, whatever. And they're saying that you don't belong in this institution because you come from a different background. You're not wealthy. You were not born into wealth. So meaning you're not going to be as superficial as them. This is why they, this is why they're saying you don't belong, by the way. Um, you're not superficial. You're not vain. You're not ego driven. You're not egotistical. You're not ethnic centric. Uh, you're, you're basically not low vibrational for lack of a better word because these are people that are so set in their ways they don't see a problem with it but you know us regular folks we see and smell s-h-i-t a mile away but these kind of people because they've been accustomed to living a specific way for a long time they're not going to see the problem with it so this is why they don't see a problem with the way they're thinking there's someone in this institution, however, that's going through some type of mental and emotional change. Someone is going from being racist and being a bigot to being someone that's balanced. And this could be causing a tower for these people as well. Is that he's always, he used to be racist. Yeah, he used to be, but he's making the changes now. So maybe someone's exposure to you has helped them change their, the way they see people, especially people of a different background than him so there's some type of 
blessing that you have been to someone and you may not be aware of it. And maybe someone is going to reach out to you someday and let you know that you really help them see things from a different perspective. Like you've opened someone's eye up really, really wide and you may not know it. And it's causing conflict. Um, so this is like, you know, sometimes some people, they are used to live in a certain way and they don't see a problem with it. And then they'll meet like the regular smegla sh- Jean Doe down the street and she's, you know, happy and content in her little mediocre life. She's fulfilled and he doesn't understand why it is she's happy because he's the one that has everything in life, but he doesn't realize that, you know, maybe Jean Doe, there's something that sentiment that has sentimental value about her existence, the people around her, the things that she has, and she has friends that care about her and things like that. Maybe he has people around him that don't really care about him. They're just there for the finances or, or the name and things like that. There's something like that going on, but a masculine is going through some type of change. Um, when it comes to how he sees people that are from a different walk of life, it could also be like there's a masculine in a relationship that's very superficial with this person and he does not want to be, it's like some, this is what I think is going on. There's a masculine that's in a relationship that's very superficial and it's superficial in the fact that she's the right complexion. Other than her being the right complexion, there's nothing else really that he like, she's very beautiful. She's the right complexion. And that's it. There's no, like, emotions in the relationship. He feels trapped with her, with this full of pentacles out here. It's a toxic and unhealthy relationship. There's no t- type of reciprocity. This relationship is not wish fulfillment for him. It's not victorious like he thought it would be. And I don't think he realizes he was being coerced into being in this relationship he was being get kept for a long time there was a lot of gig keeping going on around him and he found out when it was too late so now he's in some type of superficial relationship that he wants out of and now that she knows he wants out of the relationship she's out here trying to pay to end someone that she thinks he's interested in and she wants you collective divine feminine to take a different path than the one that you are on. So she may be paying someone to come in and either on a live you or paying someone to come in and give you some money to tell you to take a different path or, you know, move on with your life because you're not going to be allowed to be in this field. Little does she know her. This is the end of the road for her. <laughs> you see how God works. They say you're sitting around planning someone's ending, waiting for them to pass, waiting for them to, you know, fall off the face of the earth. And you don't know the whole time that's what's about to happen to you. This man does not see this woman as wish fulfillment is what I'm being told. Um, she's about to be out here alone, having to work for what it is that she wants. And if she wants a 10 of pentacles, she's going to have to work for that. She's actually going to have to, uh, going to have to acquire the skills to be able to achieve that 10 of pentacles that she wants. But she's working really hard to secure something to end someone else's abundance not her abundance. She's working really hard. Like someone is not changing. I don't know who it is that thinks this woman is changing or she's doing, she's not changing. She's still the same. She's not changing. Someone does not have any intentions of changing. And I don't think you all know that she's going to keep paying people behind the scenes because you keep giving her money. Maybe she still works for the institution. So she still has money coming in that she can use to pay people behind the scenes to cause hindrances to other people. So until she is actually let go from a position or uh, 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 excommunicated from an institution, she's going to keep doing what it is she's doing because this is a cold-blooded narcissist, psychopath, sociopath. She's not going to stop doing what she's doing. I don't care how many times you talk to this woman. All she's going to do is say, oh, I won't do it anymore. She's just going to find someone else to do her dirty work. So I don't know if you, this is why this Knight of Cups is out here. I don't know if you are or not aware but all she's doing is paying other people to do her dirty work and then she can walk into work every day and act like she's not part of something that she's put an end to some type of one-sided competition she's been in with other people, especially a divine feminine or empress out here. Honey, I, I don't, I can't fool around with energies like that because I, I can't, that's too much insecurities, too low vibrational for me. I can't, I don't went in on this woman in readings and she's still out here doing her thing, being low vibrational. I think that's her final destination when it comes to personality, mental state of being, that's her. 
But just so you know, darling, your family, this Ten of Pentacles, you've been trying to steal, force, keep. You can't. It's been taken from you. Okay? Uh, let, let me see if I can find anything else in here. Don't want to miss anything. Yeah, this Queen of Cups you're coming after, they're always going to manifest something new. <laughs> I mentioned that. You're coming after an Empress. Queen of Swords, Queen of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Wands. Energy. It don't matter what you do. Someone is always going to have the gift of manifestation. They're always going to be able to manifest something new. I think you have gotten accustomed to being able to destroy people's pathways. Like you intimidate them, you steal from them, block them, and then eventually they give up. It's not happening this time. This time it's you that's going to have to take a different path. This is the end of the road for you. And it, this has never happened to you before. There's something about the energy that you've been coming after. And I think because you saw them in like a Queen of Cups energy, you thought that you were going to defeat them. You said, I'm a Queen of Wands. She's a Queen of Cups. I know more about this industry than she does. Mm -mm. You may know more about the industry than she does because you've been in that industry. But that does not mean you know the right things. That does not mean you have the proper knowledge. It just means you know how the institution operates. But the actual knowledge that you need for the position that you are either trying to get or the position that you are in, you don't have it. That's the advantage this Queen of Cups has over you. This, this Queen of Cups also has a direct connection to Source. This has something to do with like spirituality, I believe, in a relationship. This Queen of Cups has a direct connection to Source, meaning she can manifest whatever it is that she wants. You out here, this is not here for manifestation with this Eight of Source out here next to it. This is you manipulating again and bribing people, and it comes out the same every time. You don't have the ability to manifest. You have the ability to manipulate. Anybody can do that. Do something special, Karen. Anybody can manipulate. If I decided to reside in my lower energy, I can manipulate you from where you are. I don't have to go to a practitioner. Anybody can manipulate. So what's the, the difference between you and this Queen of Cups, the Empress that you've been trying to take out, is that they actually have the creativity that you are wanting, you don't have. They're, they actually have that direct connection to Source and a uh, privilege and clearance to manifest what it is that they want. Anything new, anything abundant, the universe tells them to dream big as possible. You're a little bit on the limited side and this has to do with your mentality and how you treat people and how you carry yourself. You're karmic. I'm not about to BS you. You know that. You're karmic. You're karmic. You manipulate to get what you want. You manip manipulate, destroy, and deceive to get what it is you want. And this is why you and your family are losing everything. I think there's something where it's like your fam. I don't know if this is like something overseas or because I saw something about a Muslim woman. I don't know what this is, but there's something about a family overseas. This could be someone else story that like you're going to probably have to return home and tell them what happened. But I'm sure they know and they've been helping you behind the scenes. I remember I saw a Muslim woman in a dream. When I started a dream, I didn't understand exactly what was going on. I'm like a uh, source. Are you trying to tell me that I'm going to become a Muslim wife or something, a Muslim woman? Because you know I'm going to be stoned on day two of being a Muslim woman because my mouth gets me in trouble. You know I say whatever I want to say and you want me to be a, a Muslim wife? Source. Source. You're playing a little bit too much. But no, it ain't, got, it ain't have nothing to do with me. They were showing me a woman that was pretending, playing a double agent, whatever she wants to call it, in a dream. It ain't had nothing to do with me having to be a Muslim woman because source already know I will not fit that lifestyle. On day two, they, I will have been stoned. Because one, you ain't telling me where I can go and cannot go. Two, you're not telling me what I can wear. Three, 
what I can say, can I say for nothing. Just nothing. Don't tell me to do nothing. Okay? Nothing. <laughs> so on day two of being a Muslim woman, I would have, I would have been stoned on the job. <laughs> Anyways, folks, I think that's about it here. I'm trying to see if I even want to go through the trouble of predicting what these people are telling these people what's going to happen. <sighs> to them, King of Wands, I mean, King of Pentacles in the reverse. Do not go meeting with someone just so you can defeat them. They're going to see right through you. I don't know if you want to communicate with someone that you want to meet with them. It's not going to happen. Until you actually heal and do the work, you're not going to be allowed around someone. And I don't think you have the intentions of healing. I think there are two different King of Pentacles. The one in the upright is not in here. He's doing his own thing behind the scenes. He's like, leave me out of this. I've already figured out what these people have been up to. It's like a King of Pentacles, King of Swords energy. He said, leave me out of it. You see, I am minding my business. I'm fed up with these people. I've been told you, don't say what it is I'm up to. So we're going to leave him out of it. But this King of Pentacles in a re reverse, you're not meeting with someone just to end them. Whatever crafty ideas you have come up with is going to backfire. Okay? The group, community, family, friends, whatever, it's over. Nothing but bad karma. Judgment. Nothing but, listen, and this is in the near future. Some, there could be some type of karma playing out within the next two days. The next two days. There's a king of pentacles reverse planning to defeat someone again. Like someone here is a narcissist and just greedy. Just greedy. And all of this has to do with an abundance. Trying to make sure someone does not receive what is theirs. And they will. Man, I'm done. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed. Stay blessed. I'll see you in my next read. Goodbye for now.